everybody I am here for another video in this video I am going to talk about my adjustment to two kids um, so I started this channel I started my blog um, website with one kid obviously um, so I joined this whole journey and adventure of motherhood and before I knew it two kids and which both kids caught me by surprise so if you go and check out my um my blog and my previous um videos at the very beginning of my channel in season one um i shared the story about you know my journey becoming a mother which it wasn't a very easy journey so dealing with um miscarriages and so in battling the thoughts of you know will I ever become a mom to being surprised with my first born um, because that preg pregnancy was a surprise and it was a scary surprise because I had just lost two babies and so I was at the point where I was like you know what I'm gonna back off from this for a little while because I I am so hurt and so torn up that I can't, I can't handle, I can't handle any more hurt because if I do, I don't know what would happen. And so then I had the surprise of there's another pregnancy and it was like, oh my gosh, I, 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 I can't handle any more hurt. And and it ended up being um, a viable pregnancy and he ended up growing. I gave birth to an eight pound baby boy and that's AJ. And then of course, when AJ turned one, I was then surprised with another pregnancy. And it was like, whoa, wait, I wasn't ready for another one yet. And so then Amari came along. And so, yeah, I haven't really talked about um, how it's been with um two kids and then two small kids um because when i gave birth to amari he was uh aj was still one so he turned two in february um after amari was born so amari was born um november um 2017 and then aj turned two in February 2018 um, so almost almost two years apart um, which I did want my kids to be two years apart but being like right below two years apart <laughs> wasn't, wasn't exactly the plan but hey it happened it was wonderful um, so adjusting to the two of them I'll just say this the main thing like I'll, I'll give like my advice um, for how to manage, you know, now that you have more than one kid is for one, before you even have a second one, that first child develop a routine from the very beginning and stick to it. And then that way, as they grow, they know that there are certain times you do certain things and you do it this way. And then when the second one comes along, you keep the routine. So this one keeps their routine. Now you have a new one and you pretty much don't have a routine with them yet because they are a newborn. But you go ahead um, because with Amari, I even established that routine while I was still carrying him. So it was like he knew before he was even born when it's bedtime because I, I, I went to sleep same time, you know. So I was on a routine. Um, so then that way the, the, the baby is adjusted already to this routine. There's like, you know, there's a pattern going on. So then the baby gets used to that. So then the baby is born. And of course, you know, they wake up, you know, through the night and everything. But as long as you still keep that routine in place. So when it's bedtime, it's bedtime. So baby wakes up crying. Okay, you're going to get fed. You're going to get burped. You're going to get changed. Okay, rocked, soothed, whatever it is that you need. And then we're going back to sleep. Okay, so we're going to meet your needs. And then we're going to go back to sleep. 
it's nighttime, it's bedtime. We're going back to sleep. Okay, so that they don't get the idea that, oh, I'm going to cry and be fussy all through the night. And so then, oh, I cry and be fussy. Now it's party time, even though it's three o'clock in the morning. No. Okay. Um, so even if they are still awake, you're going to lay down. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so. That's my thing, and that's what helped me adjust to having two kids um, so quickly um, in between, um, and well, so quickly apart, is just keeping that routine. And then as long as the routine is kept, perfect. Like right now, I'm able to record this video because it's not even eight o'clock at night yet, and both boys are in the bed now. And I don't hear them talking anymore. So they're asleep. But there's a routine. And it starts from the very beginning. And so whether they are up and they're still down there talking to each other, and I can hear them over the monitor um, talking to each other, they're still in the room, in the bed, understanding that it's bedtime. And you, you better not come out of that room. <laughs> you, you better not. I'm smiling, but you better not come out of that room. <laughs> But yeah, so routine. So then that way, as Amari get, you know, has gotten older, I can pretty much just fit him on into the routine that has not changed. So now when bedtime comes, both of you, you're going to bed. Um, when it's time for lunch, it's both of you. Breakfast, it's both of you. You know, bath time now, both of you. So keep the routine. Okay, so that's how I have adjusted to two kids. Um, uh, well, whenever <laughs> number three comes, because um, we, we're still eventually, eventually, we're going to try for a girl. And so whenever number three comes, we just going to keep the routine, keep the routine and yeah, just keep it going. So once again, that's how I have adjusted to two kids um, being so close apart and so young. And that's my advice for um, adjusting to more than one kid. That's my advice really for just peace because it's possible to be a parent and still have some time to just have peace when you set that routine in place. Um, and it, it it's not going to be in place overnight too. Let me go ahead and make that clear. So it's something that you have to stick with no matter how much the child fusses about it and cries and throws a fit. And you pretty much have to have the attitude of, okay, oh, you're going to throw a fit. Okay. But you still going to follow the routine. Like, okay, you're going to fall out crying. Well, for one, we not having that. So you're going to get up. Yes. And, um, <laughs> and you, you're going to, go to bed. It's bedtime. But I'll talk um, about bedtime too, because I have other things that I do for bedtime. So I'll, I'll actually talk about that in another video. Um, but as far as the routine, you're going to do this. There is no option. This is what you're going to do. Okay. And then you just keep at it. They're, they may fuss and they may fight it and they, ooh, they may, I mean, really fight it. But you also have to understand that you can sit there. You have to have that mindset. You can sit there and fight all you want. I'm not changing my mind. This is the routine. This is what we're doing. This is what time we're doing this. This is when we're doing this. And this is how we're doing this. So either you get on board or you're just going to be one angry, crying kid. You know? So what, what, what is it? Do you want to be happy and we run things smoothly? Or do you want to sit there and cry a lot? Hmm. Um, so that's pretty, that's pretty much the only option you give them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so adjusting to two kids hasn't been bad at all. Um, because I kept AJ's routine. I didn't, you know, let him get off of his routine, kept it. And then I pretty much just, you know, adjusted Amari to the routine. So now they're both on the same routine. Let's go. So that's it. How to adjust to more than one kid. You now have a new baby. Now how do you handle both of them? Routine.
routines. Set those routines in place. Um, set them in place that work with your schedule, your life, your lifestyle, your household, your personalities, and then keep it moving. And it'll it should work out. I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye.